of my healthy viewers. I am sure you can tell that I am feeling a little under the weather. <coughs> it's okay though. It is totally fine. This is just something my body does when I get stressed. I uh, actually went into the office today and uh, Duke took one look at me, said I looked disgusting, and then told me to go home. I suppose I could have taken offense at that, but I was too blurry from the cold meds to really think about it. Or anything else for that matter. And now that I'm doing this, making a video probably wasn't my best idea of the day. This past week has actually been pretty great, apart from all of this. I wrote an article defending the CW that got a lot of traffic, so Duke was really pleased with that. But in all honesty, doesn't the CW get a bum rap? I mean, a lot of their shows have like superheroes and vampires, but that doesn't mean that they don't produce other good quality content. Ugh. Ranting is really hard when you're sick. I am usually much better at this. <laughs> Oh, I mean this in the nicest way, but you look awful. Uh, I don't think there's a nicest way to say that. Okay, well then I mean it in the least mean way. Thank you? How are you feeling? Do you need me to bring you anything at lunch? Oh, no, that's sweet, but I am fully stocked. I'm like the scar face of cold meds. Aren't you on your lunch break now? No, this is my mid-morning coffee break. Anyway, I'm glad you don't need me at lunch because I'm planning on using that time to watch the next episode of Udolfo after the big cliffhanger that I just witnessed. Ooh, which one? There's more than one. Oh girl, you don't know nothing yet. <sighs> I don't think my heart can take it. Well, in the episode that I just watched, Marie was telling her that she needs to stop hanging out with Luke because he's bad news and Emily was actually considering it. It ends on the scene where she's writing the letter and you don't know if it's a love letter or a goodbye letter. I don't know what to do. I hate to tell you it gets worse, but it gets worse. <sighs> I am not, however, finding it hard to understand why you've been in love with Henry Tilney for half your life. I have not been in... Yeah, he is pretty swoony on that show. Oh, speaking of swoony, my brother John is coming into town next week with your dear brother on the same flight from New York. Won't that be fun? The Thorpes and the Morelands conquering the LA office together. And I know John is pretty excited to meet you. Oh, well, I'm excited to meet him too. Mm-hmm. That'll be nice just to put a name to the face. Right. I'm not really sure what you're going on about, I don't know, maybe it's the cold meds? I should probably take a nap. <laughs> well, that's fair. As long as you're better by this weekend. Adios, darling. I had completely forgot that Jimmy was coming into town this weekend. My first LA visitor! I am much more excited than I let on, but my nap time night clothes kicking in, so I will say... Ciao for now, darlings.